Hey everybody, it's Magic Prepper, and we're in the middle of a rainstorm, and that's fine because I got my Millserp gear on, which can totally handle any weather. Now here's the thing, I wanted to bring this up because Millserp gear or military surplus gear is still king of the mountain when it comes to budget-friendly gear for preppers, especially those of you who are on a tight budget or those of you who are just starting out and you're not exactly sure where to go or what to get going with. Honestly, you can save a lot of money and still have some very high quality equipment at your fingertips if you just get military surplus gear. Obviously, it's been tested in the field, it's been set to certain standards, and it's affordable. So I thought I'd go over a couple of obscure options here with you all, just in case you weren't aware of these Millserp items in particular. And of course, Midway USA is the biggest supporter of the channel, and luckily, Everything I have today can be found through Midway USA. So a big thanks to them for helping me out with some of this cool Millsurf gear and to give everybody a heads up about just how affordable and high quality this gear can be. First and foremost, I know you're all asking, right? Why are you dripping so hard, Magic Prepper? Well, I can tell you, this is the Swiss M83 Field Jacket. It's 10 bucks, right? Now look, first and foremost, this is not the most practical camouflage. I shouldn't even have to say that. They call it pizza flage for a reason. But of course, you can apply this to any other Millsurp camouflage that's out there. You want to get some French, you want to get some Czech, you want to get some Romanian, whatever you want. It's all out there and it's available and in much better patterns than this. But either way, if you like the pizza flage, 10 bucks isn't too bad for a field jacket. Now, of course, I'm sure a lot of you are asking, what is this? Like, what are you actually doing here, right? And this is Millsurp. It's not just me being a weirdo or trying to be some kind of fringe lunatic because I might be one. But... In all honesty, this is a Swiss eye mask, and it has the shades installed right here, the eye protection, right? Which is really nice because this is invented for winter and very cold environments. So you have your eye protection, which is shaded, and then you also have your face being protected from cold wind and snow and everything else. So I like this quite a bit because I live in North Dakota, but this is actually Mill Serp, and this Swiss eye mask is 40 bucks. So you can have something that can help you out in the cold weather, still give you eye protection, still give you some protection from the sun in the sense of UV protection. And it's only 40 bucks and it's been tested. This is actually the Swiss eye mask SWAT, just so you know. So this was one of the ones I was like, this is kind of obscure and interesting. I don't even know if you guys knew it existed. Now, what else do I have going on here? Well, not all Millserv is created equal. And there are some things you'll find out when you get into Millserv that do or do not do the job you want them to do. And one example of that are the Swiss M70 field pants, which are also pizza flage, right? We know that they're not the most practical in pattern, but these pants in general, just their design and their overall fit aren't good. So like, I wouldn't recommend getting them. I don't think that it will fit most people properly. And I don't know, they're just worn out and just, they're just not the best. So I would skip the pants in all honesty, but you can find good quality Millsert pants. These are just an example of something I wouldn't necessarily suggest. And you do have to do your research when it comes to Millsert. Do some reading and the reviews and the comments and see what people are saying about it because it might just not fit the bill for what you're looking for. And apparently in Europe, people are shaped like the seven dwarfs and nobody actually has a waist. So I'm not sure what's happening there, but I've never been to Europe. So what do I know, right? Now, here's something else that I wanted to bring up. The gaiters, okay? These are Swiss mountain gaiters, Millserp gaiters that are really inexpensive. They're $15, right? And by the way, those M70 field pants were 28 bucks for like, why even talk about it? They're terrible. Anyway, Swiss mountain gaiters for 15 bucks. You get military surplus gaiters and they're legit. I've worn them in deep snow. I've worn them in wet environments. They keep my feet dry. They do the exact job you expect gaiters to do. And for 15 bucks, you're just not gonna beat that. So to me, that's where some Millsurf really comes into play where you start getting into more obscure items other than just camouflage or, you know, Alice gear or rucksacks and stuff like that. Like things like gaiters that are actually designed specifically to deal with the harsh environments that militaries are expected to have to deal with, I think is a good way to look at it. So these gaiters are awesome. I highly recommend for $15, you can't beat them. Now, we all know, like I said, rucksacks are a big part of the equation. Now this is actually a Swiss M90 rucksack. It runs 30 bucks. You probably won't get a better backpack than this Swiss rucksack for $30. Like you just won't. It's an awesome backpack. It's super durable. It's really inexpensive. And it's got all the things you would expect from a military rucksack, especially when it comes to like waterproofing and load bearing capability. Yeah, is it the most comfortable bag you'll ever buy? Of course not. Is it the best thing for hiking the Appalachian Trail? No, but can you fit nine puppies inside? You definitely can. So this bag is awesome and I use it for other things besides just 
prepping stuff. I use it even just for like magic cards. Who knows what else? I don't actually play that, right? So military rucksacks, surplus ones are awesome. You can't beat a backpack at this price for what this gives you, okay? You're not gonna get a better $30 backpack. Now in here, I've got a couple other examples that I wanna share with everybody because, well, there's a couple of really good things you should definitely consider when it comes to Milserp gear, in my opinion, all right? Look at this, snow skirt, expandable. This pack has so many options. I'm not gonna go through them all because it's $30. If you wanna try it out, just grab one and you're not gonna hate it, I promise you, okay? So in here, let's see, I've got an example of something I don't like. Now these are actually Czech M95 mittens. Now they're only eight bucks. And you think, dang, mittens for eight bucks, right? And they actually have a finger trigger or a trigger finger as well. A finger trigger, you never know what that's for. A trigger finger separation there so that you can actually still use a rifle. But the reason I don't like these is that they're not incredibly warm for how bulky they are. And the elastic is really worn out on them. So like, they're just gonna fly off really easily. That thing really flew, wow. <laughs> but here's the thing. I mean, for eight bucks, it's still better than no winter gear at all. But if you have any additional money besides $8, there are other Milserb mittens out there, like the NATO ones, which are much better than these. And I would just spend a little extra and get something better than these. So this goes into the whole Milserb thing, requiring a little bit of vetting on your part to make sure that it actually works. And yeah, I'm in the middle of a storm right now. It's what we do, okay? So throw this over here as well. All right, what else do we have in our bag of fun? Oh no, the puppies fell out. Okay, military poncho. This is a German poncho, it's $25. You can't go wrong with a Milsert poncho. Everybody should have Milsert ponchos. It has all the, the grommets and everything you need in order to tie it down, make a makeshift shelter. You can also, of course, add a liner, which we'll talk about here in a second, but give me one minute here. And we'll just go ahead and unroll this for you. I should probably be wearing this right now. We're in the middle of a rainstorm. But I mean, it's a legitimate Milserp poncho. Just have one, right? And this is German, of course, but it works with all the other NATO style poncho liners and everything else. So heavy duty, good to go. You're not gonna get a better poncho for the price. And this thing was $25. So Milserp, still the king of budget in very many ways. And of course, it wouldn't be a Milserp conversation if we didn't talk about the Wooby, which is a poncho liner, right? You gotta have a poncho liner. This one's a woodland pattern one, which everybody loves. And of course it's 35 bucks, but you should have a poncho liner and it's nil serve, good to go. You really can't go wrong with a high quality Wooby. And of course, I mean, if you wanna even just look at it as being like a blanket, then just look at it as a blanket. Boom, here's your blanket. Nothing wrong with that. For 35 bucks, you're not gonna get a better blanket, all right? But it can do a lot more than a blanket, of course. So. Listen, Milsert, still king of the mountain in many ways. And if you're just starting out or you're not sure where to get started, go the military surplus route. And if you don't have any money to work with in the sense of like a huge budget to spend on gear and preps and all this high speed stuff that's really expensive, but modern and slick and tactical and all that stuff, don't get too upset or frustrated. Just get some Milsert stuff, get some load bearing equipment, get some Alice gear. You can easily put together a really well-suited you know chest rig or just waist uh belt setup or anything else that you want to do when it comes to milserp gear you can get a good rucksack put, the, put together i mean the options are endless so just make sure you're checking out military surplus stuff especially if you're on a budget there's really no reason not to and besides that that's going to be it for magic prepper